Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom, we got snow and more snow coming. This makes me smile because it's moisture. Keep the forest fires away. Plus, when I was a big time contractor, I was smiling because I got a chance to make some money if everybody paid me for plowing and plowing and plowing. But not now. I'm retired. So now I'm standing here with the me phone inside the whole shack door because it's windy out here. Yes, but it's not cold. All right. We woke up this morning to minus 2 Celsius, but feels like minus 9. No Grinch clubs, but on the yo-yo scale, plus 28, but feels like plus 16. See, I told you it's warm out here. All right. So as they say, it's a nice day for a white wedding. Oh, Billy Idol song from the 1980s. That was a good song. We used to crank it up and rock. Yes, and rock and roll. And also Doro, they're a German singer she did a version of that song too dora she's a hottie yes and she's old like me all right also too we're gonna have a good production day in the shop because we have these oh we have these plasma cutting tips so we can cut and cut and cut and cut some more not like oxyacetylene or oxypropane when we'd go until we're out of gas and then we'd have to wait and travel down to thompson over the so-called road to get the gas to continue on but we can't afford that anymore now the only thing we use up is the plasma tips and they come from Princess Auto, they mail it to us, so in seven days we get the little package in the mail, so we can keep on cutting and cutting some more. All right, let's see if we can venture out with the me phone out of the hoe shack, so we can enjoy the elements. Ooh, just look at that! It's gonna snow most of the day. All right, this is excellent, and Johnny G might stop by to pick up his box of goodies. Yes. He didn't want to do it on Friday when it was sunny and nice and it would be an easy walk up from the front gate. But today, he's going to do it today in his snow boots and snowshoes and struggle to make it up the driveway in the deep snow. Oh, it's just unreal. I feel like Les Nesman live on location. All right, just waiting for the turkeys to drop. All right. It's nasty out here, but we knew it was coming. It comes every year and we're ready. We're going to have a full production day in the shop with the wood stove going. I didn't start it yet, because I gotta gather the wood. Yes, I didn't fill the wheelbarrow yesterday. What was I thinking? Oh wait, I was drunk. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, I'm gonna take the dogs on the North Dog Walking Trail, because there's less wind, because it's densely treed this way. All right, let's crawl this way. I don't have the Lily Tomlin mic, so that's why my voice sounds differently. All right, the dogs are ready. Okay, out in the shop actually early by half an hour because there wasn't many comments or emails to reply to. Oh well, okay. So we have all that snow outside, but it's not that cold, so I'm just kind of babying the wood stove along. I just started it now, so it's just getting going, and then we'll put some fresh, how'd you say, harvested trees. Yes, we don't use that word kill because it shows up as bad or whatever. Okay, so over here we have the fuel tank, the battery box, and everything, so that makes the truck offset or leaning to this side. So over here... All right, let's do the walk and talk. Everybody needs their exercise. Okay, so over here we have a big, huge space right there. All right, but also, too, the fact that we have this big sheet of steel that we dragged in. So I'm only going to use a bit of it for the battery, to battery toolbox combination. So it's in the shop, and by the time we drag it back, put it in the storage trader, that's kind of pointless. So let's build a toolbox for the driver's side to even it out, okay? So this piece is in, so we'll cut it, okay? So the problem is I'll have to do vertical cuts to get it small enough that I can lift up onto the workbench. And then over here, I'm making a list and figuring out what I need to cut, okay? So later today when I have my snow boots on, I gotta go find some threaded rod and some angle iron for holding the battery down. Oh. I got the burps. So down here we put some yellow lines or dots. Because that's where the threaded rod's going to go through to hold the battery. We made a mark over here for the hole in the side panel, okay? So we figured out the door is going to be cut out of all that material and the panels and then the toolbox side is right here. So we've all calculated it out. And for some reason black pens or blue pens do not last. These ballpoint or uni ball red pens seem to last forever. This pen's probably two, three years old and still going in the shop. 
whereas any pa pens we buy now don't last long okay so that's why and plus i'm colorblind so i'm writing in gray so i got my material list already there for all the angles and flats and we have the panel pieces here so we'll do a quick little buffy grind on here because when i did a test fit last night this has to be beveled down because of the curvature of the angle iron used in the deck so then we can start building it uh, looking at hinges online because i don't want to put door hinges from the house or anything like that so if i get those nice welded on hinges they're called bullet hinges or we call them weld on hinges but they're called bullet hinges from princess auto that'll make these doors look how would you say nice and then it'll be a nice close fit up against here okay so we're not going to get fancy with the door because usually what happens is you leave the door open and you back into something and bend it we've done that you know so we learned make the door simple and easy access and the floor has to be flush with the it has to be an insert in here because if we do an overlap joint and then dirt gets underneath or the acid from the battery so it has to be a flat panel uh, tight butt weld fit so it's smooth for the battery plus there's no means of how to say uh, rust or penetration or whatever heebie-jeebies from that all the panels on the side here will be cut to be smaller so it to be easier weld i'll probably have to use the mig welder oh yes the hobart handler 100 over there we have lots of mig wire so we'll probably use that to weld it all right let's get to work we got lots to do today because it's snowing outside okay lunchtime in the kingdom i laid the plate down right here i had it up on some wood you can see the plasma cut lines i cut it into pieces and i worked out good i got a little bit of uh how would you say the ah, oh, over here these i'm not coordinated here so that's the pieces that i can't use i used everything out of that whole sheet and here's the panels for the toolbox side on the driver's side the only thing i'm missing is the floor okay so also note the check marks as i cut them in rough i put the check and then when i have the finished product i put the x through the check so that way i know i have it so this is the driver's side toolbox and then over here it's a little smoky in here because i just stocked up the wood stove yes so over here is the battery box uh toolbox or whatever right there for the passenger side so that works out pretty good so after lunch i have to find some materials and get some more wood for the stove this uh green wood's not burning very fast so i'll have to put some accelerants or some dry wood in there so it'll work out good all right let's go have some lunch and a beer maybe okay after lunch in the kingdom and i got my list and i'm cutting my pieces and i'm bringing them over here to keep them separate from everything else so i'm marking on them because i have a short memory yes because some of them are closed 20 and 21 and 20 yes it gets confusing like father's day all right so i'm outside here in the snowstorm yes it's nasty out here like my ex-wife so i'm here trying to cut this stuff unreal of course it cleared off when i come out with the camera but just look at it it's just icky out here so glad we got wood in the stove and projects to do okay to show you how nasty it is here's the camera here with johnny g arriving and i sped it up four times no eight times sorry so johnny g should be arriving to pick up his box look at the trees blow in the wind it's just unreal i never realized how nasty it was but i was in the shop there and you can't remember that shop has no weather stripping or anything fancy no how would say house wrap or anything spray foam so i think we got it sealed up pretty good there's johnny g arriving right there now he gets to do the walk in the deep snow yes look at him come along here yeah roll round he goes up the hill yeah should have, should have came on friday when it was nice and sunny he would have broke out in a sweat uh there he is kind of staggering all over the place but he is making her and he'll come into the bottom of the screen here to get his package because i'm in the shop so he should be appearing anytime now there he is okay anytime now johnny g should be leaving the shop with his box now he has to walk in the deep snow carrying a box there he goes let's see if he can make it down to the shop go to the front gate look at him go yeah it's downhill so he's making better time plus he has the tracks from when he walked in there he goes out the front gate yeah and up into the truck yes and hopefully he made it home i haven't heard from him yet all right we thank you for the gifts for johnny g too because we share the wealth there he goes 
Okay, coffee time in the kingdom and I got all my pieces cut, but the main thing I did today, or before coffee, is do the battery hold down bracket tree. Yes, we don't buy the cheap uh, battery hold down kits, we make our own. So this is how it works here. 3 8 rod, which will be lots of never sees applied to it, goes through the hole here, and this keeps the battery held, hold, hold, held down at an angle. So that will keep it from bouncing around on these so-called roads of the north. So now we can start cleaning up the steel here and prep it for having the sheet metal applied to it. And then the battery box toolbox will be complete. All right, let's get back to work. We got no time for coffee. Okay, grabbed a quick coffee to go because we're in a production run here. Yes, we're using the same coating as we did yesterday, yesterday with that box or that, uh, yeah, battery box. Okay, so we're using X, Y, Z and O or whatever. Okay, so we got them pieces marked and test fitted. So over here, okay, we're drilling the quarter inch hole to get things started. All right, so over here, we got everything set up on the driver's side to make the toolbox and we have everything marked. Oh, I got the burps. I just had peanuts. I got everything marked X, O, Z, and Y at the back there. Okay, so this works out good. I want to get this done. Well, it's still fresh in my memory from doing it yesterday. So if I waited a week and come back to try and figure this out, I'd be screwed. But this is the way to do it. Get it done. Get it, get it done while it's still fresh in your memory. Oh, the joys of getting old. Okay, sure. I'm glad I decided to drill all the holes and make these pieces because it's a hell of a lot easier today than it was yesterday. Like I'm banging this off. The boss will be proud of the production I got. So now after I'll get the plasma cutter out, we'll nip this out because we have to notch it at the bottom to give it a solid, I would say, structural support and everything. And it's going good. We got the holes drilled out. Everything's marked out. Yes, it went very well today. I'm very pleased. We might have to work late while it's still fresh in my memory. Okay, just about six o'clock in the kingdom and this project's going very well. Yes, yesterday we had to work till 7.30 to get this thing this far along, okay? But this is actually working out good because fresh in my memory how I did it. Plus, I've improved my cuts and everything. Oh yes, we got to do the pro the promo thing here. Yes, all my cuts are being done with the Pro Point 30A Plus from Princess Auto. Plus, we're using Princess Auto chop saw blades, which are up here. All right, see them right there. Those things there are doing the cutting outside because I don't want the sparks inside the shop. Okay, so over here, the left-handed or driver's side toolbox. Uh, yeah, Canadian driver's side toolbox. If you're in Australia or England, it's the passenger side toolbox. Okay, it's twice as big as the battery box on the other side. So you can see we had to put the uh, Bob Vila, no, Norm Abram, uh, wood clamps together in a daisy chain to get it to come together plus we ran short of this product here okay we had no more in the shed so we had to kind of put a piece on and stuff like that but that's a minor detail and the measurements are coming good clamp to the bench using the square using the tape measure it's actually coming out very well and i got my x's and o's in the right spot okay a little higher less assessment okay there's the X, there's the O, so this is going good. We got everything going rather well. So glad we decided to drop everything to do this because we won't be able to mount the box on the truck right away because we have other work to do on the truck. But the main thing is the box is built and ready to go. Plus we're using up all this material that would be, how would you say, scrap value at my estate sale. All right, let's get this project done so we can drink professionally. Okay, we're officially done. Yes, it's just about uh, 6.30 when we finished up. So we got all the welds done. We did a quick grind on it. And then tomorrow when we sheet it in, that's when we do the final buff and everything to make it look good and smooth. So X and O's line up and Y and Z on the other side line up. So I'm glad I took trigonometry in high school. And the door is on this side. So everything works out good. Very pleased. I'm glad I took it upon myself to make a management decision to do this box because the material was in the shop and it didn't really take much time to do it. Besides, it's a nasty day outside. So another day in the shop is nothing really. Let's go check on the flags. Wednesday morning in Whoville and it's just after 8 a.m. and I'm getting ready to head to work. As you can see, it's kind of a snowstorm out here. It's been pretty nasty all night long and the wind's picking up, but now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get to work. 
12 30 and i'm just finishing up lunch i had soup and a sandwich and as you can see it is pretty nasty out there today i only had five kids this morning and then we had indoor recess as well but now it's time to head back inside let the dogs in and get to work 4 p.m and i'm just getting home from work as you can see it is still pretty nasty out there so i'm not heading over to the kingdom today he has enough stuff to do in the shops so let's head inside let the dogs out and do the weather Six p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative three degrees Celsius, which is twenty-six degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. As you can see from my weather board, it is still pretty windy out here, and it's still snowing as well. I'm not sure when the snow will stop. It says in the next couple hours here, but I guess we'll find out. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in because I can hear them crying, make supper, and end my day. We are definitely going to be short video footage for today, so we'll add something from the past. Yes, the past. That one was good times, good fun, and great times. Oh, geez, these lips need more vodka. Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom. Stuff's coming over because she wants my beer to drink. Because I guess she ran out of her a lot of them out for the weekend. But we got the two cats up and running. That's why there's lots of smoke at minus six. But now we can go have some fun. Okay, here we go with the big boys, the TD-18s. This is Blaine on this side, and there's Dooley. As you can see in the videos, they calm right down. They're not blue smoke because they're working hard. We got the sleighs hooked up. Now we'll go have some fun. Well, today was not planned. We woke up to minus seven, so that means the ground was frozen enough that we could get the loader out, the 922 cat loader I've owned for a long time, to drag this truck out of the soft area where I parked it almost a year ago because it was supposed to go south. So now we've stripped the truck because we need parts. These oddball tires will go nicely on my boat trailer. Okay, I got 40 foot boats, so I got a special trailer for that. We'll talk about that later. I can use this brand new starter on the TD-18s, plus we cut out the uh, window regulators. I'll try and flip it over. Because that's a sweet little regulator for a hot rod. And then over here, we have all the new stuff tucked away. I put a brand new park brake and everything on that, and there's a new rod which will fit nicely into Lynn, 20, Lynn number two with that V12. Okay, I'll walk over. 
Okay, I walked over here. I didn't want to film and trip and fall. Did any of you think I've been drinking on a Sunday? Okay, we cut out the headlight mechanisms because it's fiberglass. It'll work in the 45 Chevy 3 ton for my daughter with the new mechanisms for holding the light. We got the fuel tank off, which will work on my daughter's 45. And we got a bunch of miscellaneous pieces which we can use on other items and stuff like that. So it's not a total waste of a day, but we had fun. All right, now I'm going to go drink some beer. Talk to you later. Okay, it's officially nasty out here. I'm glad we chose to be in the shop today. Look at the flags. They're all tangled up, but that's where they should be safe and sound. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you later.